Yes. I know. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, it, on Thursday, but maybe on Friday, because, you know, uh, the 10th will be free too. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, maybe, maybe Thursday yeah, maybe, maybe or Friday, Friday, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe on Friday. So, and yesterday we went to uh, San Ignacio. Oh, mm -hmm. in Chalate. In Chalate, of course. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, how, 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 how was it? Uh, it was very nice, the journey. It, it was yes. in, in the afternoon. Yes, it was in the afternoon. In, oh. And we went to, to buy some cheese over there because the cheese from, from San, San Ignacio is very delicious. See, the weather is cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, over there is yes. cool. It's very yeah. cool, yes. Uh -huh. It's delicious. And, and in the La Palma, uh -huh. uh, the coffee cup uh, in this place is delicious. The the, the coffee. Ah, the coffee. Ah, oh, that's the nice. coffee is delicious. Yes. And the uh, well ah, and I have a, a woman that she said and uh, she is from as a hey guys. Good ab good afternoon. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How was um how was your day today? Today is very busy, teacher. Very busy? Yes. Very busy. It's been really hot too, huh? Um, oh, yes. This week, for me, in my case, for me, this week will be harder. Isabel will have to milk the cows. And that is a get up at 4 a.m. all day. 4 a.m., <laughs> wow. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. That's 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 yeah. You wake up very 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 early, right? Yes. All right. All right. Very good, guys. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna finish talking today about um about um conditionals. Okay. So we went over <laughs> we went over a nightmare last week, right? With with um. With even if, with, uh, what was the other one? With unless, right? With even though. So we're going to, we went over, you know, a couple of things that were not so easy to understand, you know. Um, but we're going to conclude today, guys, okay? So, guys, so today, today we will talk about, we will talk about what if. All right, so let's talk about what if. What if? And we're going to wait for everybody else to join in, guys. But uh, anyways, guys, so hey, guys, has it, has it rained where, you, where you're at, where you live? No, no, it isn't. No. No, teacher. No. Man, it's so weird, right? Because it should be raining. Should be raining nowadays, right? What do you think? It should be raining. But I think, guys, I think it's because of global warming. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Man, but we really need some rain. It's getting really hot. It's getting so, too hot, you know. Uh, yeah, extremely, extremely, extremely hot. Anyways, guys, so I don't know what happened. Tell me, tell me. No, today, today in Chalate uh, is a uh, forty-one degree. degree. Really, forty-one yeah. degree. Oh, it's yeah. very, very hot. Yes, it is. Very hot. All right. Okay. 
Give me one second, guys. Bueno, papi. I'm in class. All right. So, anyways. So, all right, guys. So, yeah. Um, so it's it's it's, it's kind of weird, you know. It's a really, it's a really weird situation. Um, because I don't know if this is gonna be like only in, in you know, it it was supposed to, it was supposed we were supposed to get rain like, mm, like mostly every day, right? Like since since April, but uh, it's already you know, May and we still don't have anything. So I don't know. It just, you know, it's getting really, 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 really hot. So anyways, so guys, uh, let's move on. Okay. So we have nine people today. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to the rest, but uh, we're going to get started. Okay. So guys, um, again, we're going to go over another use of second conditionals. Okay. And now in today, guys, we will talk about what if and I wish. Okay, which are very close to the what they can do together. All right, so let's talk about it. Uh, who would like to help me read? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. How to use what if? What if is usually used in the beginning of a question when we ask about the consequence of an action we use what if here to indicate present or future situation for example two all right what if okay you can leave it there thank you thank you very much okay okay, okay. all right guys so so what if will be used at the beginning of questions, okay? And basically, we are going to use it. You can use it with any conditionals, right? What if can be used with any conditionals, right? So that's that's one thing. But one of the things that you have to know is that if we use it in second conditionals, we're talking about in a real situation, okay? Something that is imaginary. When we say what if, guys, what if in second conditional, mm -hmm. we're still talking about something imaginary. Or we're asking a question. Okay. So, for example, take a look at this. Right. What if there is no fish in the river right now? What conditional is this, guys? Second. Second conditional. Yeah. All right, so that is the second condition, right? Hold on, guys. Let me. Uh, hold on. There you go. All right, very good. So that that is the second con that, that this is the first conditional, guys. Right. There is no fish in the water. You won't be able to see them then, right? So you can see, guys, that we can use them in in any tense whatsoever. What if I go home earlier? And miss all the fun. All right. This is an, another imaginary situation with, you know, um, with some optional context, right? Some optional information. Okay. So basically, guys, the way you can use this is like this. All right. So in second condition also, again, right? What if plus second conditionals, All right? So in what if plus second conditionals, you, you can use it like this, okay? You can say, you're gonna use what if plus, what is the first part of a second conditional, guys? What is the part that they've plus? Simple? The subject. Well, yes, yeah, so it's the subject, right? Which is part of simple past. So we're gonna use guys, what if plus simple past plus 
this is optional, right? Optional a complement, okay? And then we're gonna use the question mark. Right? So then we're gonna use a question mark there, okay? All right, so this is how we, this is how we start building the blocks of a second conditional with what if, okay? So what do we use it for? What do we use it for according to the explanation, guys and girls? We use when it we for... ask about the consequences of an action. Okay, very good. Ask, very good. So when we ask, right, about the consequences consequences of an action, okay? About consequences of an action. All right? Very good. So this is what we use, guys, a second conditional for, right? Mm -hmm. So ask about the consequences of an action. Okay, so for example, right, let's take a look at an example here. We can say, what if, and you guys give me a, uh, you guys give me a question in simple past. What if what? What is there weren't any um, roots? What if there weren't any fruits? Very good. What if there weren't any fruits? Okay. Good job. Okay. And how would you answer? Okay. So this is the question, right? This is the yes. question. How would you answer? You won't be able to make the juice. You want? You won't. Uh, that, that is incorrect. Not, you will not. No, that is incorrect. Huh? Second conditionals, guys. So how do you, what is the second part of a second conditional? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Very good. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. Be able to make juice, right? Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Okay. So why why are we why can we not answer like, oh, I won't be able to make any juice? Okay. Why? Because guys, this part right here, right? It's imaginary. Okay. So the answer here is also guys, imaginary. Okay. So that's the reason why we answer it with the structure of a second conditional okay because both of, both of them are imaginary any questions here guys or so far so good so far so good all right great all right well, just, uh, tell teacher me. And, and then sorry teacher then and uh, the structure what if plus simple past and then for the answer is a uh, Conditional in negative. No, no. The answer, the answer. We. This is the example that you gave. Okay. The answer can be whatever you want, as long as it is the structure of a present condition. A uh, present conditional here, right? You uh, wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. need to. You basically need to say would or wouldn't, right? Wouldn't. Yeah. Right, you can say would or wouldn't, depending on the answer that you want to give. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, but uh -huh. that's but, but that's how you would you would you would answer the word this. I'm sorry, you. you were saying something else. Go ahead. <clears throat> sorry, and don't, so uh, the first conditional uh, will be in present, and then we will, right? Pass. Yes, in yeah. If it is a first conditional, yes. That is oh, correct. Okay. If it is a first conditional, mm -hmm. that's 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 true, right? We're not gonna focus oh. on first conditionals. I showed you the example before a first conditional just to just to show you that you can use 
this in any in any conditional, right? In any tense, right? In first, second, yeah. third conditionals, you know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna focus on second conditionals because we're still talking about imaginary situations. Okay. Now I want you to notice something, guys. This is a question, right? Yes. Okay. But there is something that you must understand here. I know that we're using the verb be here, right? Because we're saying weren't. But is this the structure of a question? Yes or no? I think so. Um, well, because it begins with a W, W, H word. It means that it's an equation. But exactly the structure of equation, it is not like that. Works. Exactly. Okay, guys, I want you to notice that you can't say what if, where and there any fruits. Because the structure of a question would be like this, right? Mm -hmm. This would be incorrect, guys. If you said what if weren't there any fruits? Okay, mm -hmm. this is the structure of a question, right? But that would be incorrect. You cannot mm -hmm. say this, okay? Oh, got it, Patricia. Uh, okay, I got it, Patricia, no worries. All right, so guys, so this right here, this right here would be incorrect because we're not gonna follow the structure of a question. We are going to follow the structure of a sentence, okay? All right, we're gonna follow the structure of the sentence of a sentence after what if, okay? Then you have guys question. Let's see how would it work with the WH question? Can we say what if? What if? Uh, what if do you like apples? Now let me ask you something, uh, Rafa. Is this correct? What if do you like apples? Yes or no? What do you think? I think yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Walter, what do you think? Is this correct? What if do you like apples? Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, use uh, a simple past instead of do. It's a present. Okay, right, let's change this to simple past, right? What if did you like apples? Is this correct now? What if did you like apples? I think no, yeah. the subject is first, mm. no? no. Yeah, 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 I changed the, the, the position of the, 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 the what parts if of the you sentence. Like, what if you like exactly. What if you so, liked apples? Okay, what so this, basically, guys, this part right here, you. this part right here needs to be the structure of a sentence, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so it needs to be the structure of a sentence. So, what if you what if liked, you liked apples? Okay, mm -hmm. that's how you have to do it, and yeah. then you would have to answer like what? How would you answer this? How would you answer this? You know, guys, you know the structure. I gave you the structure above. So how would you answer it? I will give give you more apples. <laughs> I would give you more apples. Very good. Okay, I would give you more apples, right? So see, I would or, or I wouldn't, right? Depending on what you wanna, what your answer want, you want what you you want your answer to be. I would give you more apples, right? What if you liked apples? I would give you more apples. Okay, so with wood. Right, so we have an example, guys. We have an example here with you know the verb be. We have an example here with the auxiliary did, well, not with the auxiliary did, right? But uh, simple past, okay? Simple past, verb be, and we're gonna call this verb be past, okay? So we have the two examples, right? So let's have another example, okay? Let's see, now you give me your own examples now, okay? All right, so what would be another question? 
What if I left to China? What if <laughs> I traveled? I left. I travel. Okay. To, to China. China. What if I traveled to China? Okay. And what would be the answer, Walter? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't travel to China. Now remember that the one mentioning that was Jancy, right? So you would need to say she. Oh, okay. She wouldn't. She she wouldn't travel to China. That, that is correct. That the sentence is correct. No. But but you wouldn't. But the answer. Okay. You wouldn't. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, you wouldn't, right? You wouldn't. Okay, so, but the answer, I mean, what if she, what if I travel to China, right? Yeah, you can say you wouldn't travel to China. Okay, this is correct. But what is a more realistic, what I want you to, to, to understand, guys, I don't want you to get confused with this, okay? Um, just because you're using the verb travel here, doesn't mean that you have to use it here. That's my point. The example, the answer is perfect, Walter. But just so you know, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to give me the same verb. Yes, Catherine? Maybe we can say you will be able to understand Mandarin. Exactly, right? See, mm -hmm. now I'm not using the same verb, right? So you would be able to understand Mandarin, right? Very good. See, now I'm not saying, Walter, that your answer was incorrect. In fact, your answer was. Your answer I'm trying. Was I tried to say uh, 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 my answer. Uh, you will be able to save more money. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Ah. So, okay. So that would be a good example, right? So, okay. So you can say another answer, right? You would be able, to, be able save to save some money. Right, time. because no money, no honey, right? Yeah. Very good, very good, right? Good job, Catherine. Good job, Walter. Luis, uh, do you want to give me another example of a question? Um. You will be, you will be, no, but but a question, a question, right? This would be a question. Oh, oh yes. excuse me. What if um what if you take a money? What if you take the money? Okay. Now remember that we can't say a money, right? What? If you take money, what right? Because if you take money, yes. what if you take money? Now remember, guys, there is something wrong here. Yes, this should be in simple past. Okay. What yes. is the past? What is the past of take? Took. 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 What if you took money, right? Took money. Does that mean that this happened in the past? What if you took money? No, right. It's just an imaginary situation about the present or the future. Right, the structure is like that, but we're not talking about the past, okay? So, what would be an answer here? Um, let's see, Sandra, what, what do you think? What would be an answer here? Oh, um, what if you took money? Ah, oh, you, you would go to the jail, you would go to Disneyland, jail. right? <laughs> yeah, man. You, would go to, you would go to, you know. Salvadorian <laughs> uh -huh. Disneyland, right? Very Sacatras. good. Sacatras. Sacatras. <laughs> I went in Sacatras last, well, near Sacatras last Friday, and that's why I couldn't, I couldn't find any oh. place to connect my my class. You should have, you should have gone to Sacatras and asked for for some internet access. Oh you know, my god! From jail. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny, right? Very good. 
All right. Well, I have another example, teacher. Yes, I? yes, please, please. Mm -hmm. um, what if you try the, another structure to answer the, the questionnaire? You, um, you would use the second conditional. Okay, what if you what? <laughs> what if you try the another structure to answer the questionnaire? Uh huh. Um, and the answer is, you would use the second conditional. You wouldn't use the second conditional. All right, very good. So, what if you try to? What if you tried another structure to answer the questionnaire? You wouldn't mm -hmm. use the second conditional. Very good. Okay. Very, very good job. Okay. So I guess these are enough examples, guys. I do have, we do have to talk about, I wish. But so far, guys, do we have any questions about how to make questions here? Everything is clear, teacher. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, teacher, tell me, tell me. Uh, you can use what if in the middle of the sentence? Mm, good question. Yeah, it depends on what you're saying. What you're saying, you can say that would be a. How do you call these type of questions? I mentioned them to you last time. Uh, oh, I forgot. But those are like link questions, right? So you can say, you can start with a sentence. You know, you can say, mm, I think I would like to travel or I would like to visit China and then period here, right? What if I travel to China? So you can do something like this, like a, a concatenated question, right? Period or a comma? No, period. Okay, now, yes. no, uh, this would, what do you think guys? Should it be a period or a comma? I don't know. No, I I believe it's it's period. Can I say um, this? Yeah. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. You can say that. In fact, if we use a period, you can use a period too. But if you use a period, you need to do this. Got it? Yeah. Not not like this, right? So yeah, you can use a comma. So yeah, you can. So to answer your question, yeah, you can say it like that. What if I, you know, you can say. Ah, oh, well, I, I'd love to visit China. Right. And then what if I travel to China? Okay. All right. So yeah, you can use it, you know, you can use it in the, not in the middle of the sentence, right? But you can use it with another clause. Okay. So yeah, that is possible. All right. Okay. Yes. So very good. So uh, so again, guys, okay, you guys give me your own examples. Write down five examples, five questions, and five answers, guys. With what if I will leave you the structure here, and then I'm going to hear your examples, okay? Remember that I will ask everyone, so everybody show me what you got, okay? So let's go, guys. All right? Ask different questions and, you know, respond with different answers, all right? Okay. Let's go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Did we, did we finish all them five? No, yet. Okay, great. All right, let's go. I'll keep waiting. Set me.
<clears throat> All right. So let's hear your examples. Let's see. Daniel, what do you have, Daniel? All right, Roberto Adonai, what do we have, Robert? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sandra. Okay, okay yeah. teacher boy. Thank you. Uh, uh, how many is the five sentences or yes. one? Right now, just read one to me, please. Okay. Uh, what if you didn't study? And what the answer was, study, huh? you wouldn't be able to get a, a better job. Very good. So you wouldn't be able to get a better, to get a better job. job. Very good. Very good, right? Good job. Okay. Uh, thank you, Robert. Uh, Helen. Okay. Do you have yours, Helen? Yes. What if we weren't alone in the universe? Very good. What if? We weren't alone in the universe. And the answer would be? What would be the answer? Maybe we're not. Okay, you can say that too, right? Maybe we are not, okay? Okay, now here's here's one thing with this answer, guys. This is not incorrect, even though we're not using a present conditional to answer, right? Because in reality, if you're talking, um, even if it is in a real situation, you can say maybe we're not, you know, right? Because he's talking about a reality. Maybe you know our reality is that we are not. So that that's fine, you know. For the purpose of grammar, yeah, you. You should, you know, you can use, you should use, you know, a present conditional, right? But the answer is perfectly fine. Okay. Very good job. Thank you, Helen. Uh, Catherine, what do you have, Catherine? Catherine? Okay, I have, give me a moment. I have it here. Uh, um, I have an, an a sentence that they will go to the mall. What if we reach them later? Very good. What well, they will go to the mall, right? Mm -hmm. What if we reach them later? Very good. Perfect. And uh, is we would need to hurry up. Okay, so you can say we will need to hurry up. Good job. Thank you, Nicole. What do you have, Nicole? What if I didn't know how to cook? All right. So I would I have I would have to spend a lot of money eating outside. Okay, what if I didn't know how to cook? I will have to spend a lot of money eating outside. Very good. I will or I would? Uh, I would, yeah. I would, right. Very good. Good job. Thank you. All right. So then we have Jenny. What do you have, Jenny? No. What is she publisher? What if what? What is she publisher? What if she published? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She will write the best seller. What if she published it? Uh -huh. she, she would have a better salary? So, so she will write the best seller? Oh, she would write uh -huh. the best. Seller, very good, good job, thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, Rafa. What do you have, Rafa? Um, what if I won five million dollars? Okay. I would invest in a house and apartment. 
Very good. I would invest in a house and an apartment, right? Very good. Good job. Okay. Invest uh, in past. Invested, right? Yes. I would invest it? No. 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 It's I would invest because remember that this is a mode over, right? And this modifies the verb, and the verb needs to be in base form. And okay. this, we're not talking about the past. Remember that this is talking about an imaginary situation in the future, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. And this, this is not talking about the past. This is an imaginary situation in the present mm -hmm. or the future, right? Okay, right. Very good. Good job. Good Thank job, you. All right. Yancy, what do you have, Yancy? What if I weren't with you, with my husband? <laughs> okay. What if I weren't with, with you. you or my husband? Okay. And he, and he sent me. I will I will not be happy. <laughs> I will not be happy. Very good. Yes. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Um let's see Sandra. Oh yes. Go ahead. Okay. I got a lot. Um you wouldn't be so worried with that bad news what if it weren't so serious with that bad news okay what if it weren't so serious okay and the answer uh-huh uh -huh. no and the answer is what if you weren't so serious? okay what if what if okay i'm sorry what is this was the answer <laughs> supposedly what if it was... no no but this is not okay so so what if it weren't so serious what if but what is it it needs to be the news right what if the uh -huh. news right what if the news uh -huh. weren't so serious right uh -huh. and you wouldn't you wouldn't be what <laughs> So worried. So worried mm -hmm. about it. Okay, very about. good. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you go, guys. There you go. Okay. Uh, did I miss anybody? I think Louis, right? Did I miss you? And Walter. Yep. Yeah. What what if someone wrote a story about you? What if someone wrote a story about you? About you. All right, and the answer? I will do my best. Okay, so the answer would be, I would do my best, right? Yes. And then Walter, what's what's okay. yours? What if I decide to immigrate another country? So, so okay, what if I what if I decided decided, decided yeah to emigrate 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 to another country country. Uh, my answer, I wouldn't able to leave my family. I wouldn't, and I think that's misspelled, guys, by the way. I wouldn't be able to what? Able to to, to leave, what? My my to leave my family. My family. Very good. Okay. Is it emigrate like that, guys? Is this well spelled? Immigrate. Immigrate. Immigrate, In right? Yeah. Immigrate. Exactly, right? So it's. Mm -hmm. Immigrate, right? There you go. Immigrate. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. And then, then that's it, right? I'm not missing anybody else anymore, right? So that's, guys, how you write conditionals with what if. Okay. That's how you make questions. Okay. So next up, guys, this is the last topic we're going to talk about in regards to conditionals. But do we have any questions about what if, guys? Or is everything 100% clear? Everything clear? Everything's clear. Yes. Awesome. When you when you yes. when I use a what if is only a positive question or could be a negative of the and the, the class the what if. It can be positive or negative. 
Oh, okay. What in if both. you didn't come to? Yeah, in both, right? Okay. What if you okay. didn't come to school tomorrow? Okay. Good. Or what if you came to school tomorrow, right? It depends on what you want to say. But yes. Okay. All right. So yes, guys. Basically, you know, what if is usually, well, uh, what if it will be used, you know, to ask about the consequence of an action, right, or the consequences of an action, right? All right, guys. So let's talk about I wish. Okay, so basically, guys, we use I wish for what? Uh, can somebody please help me read this part? This okay. right here. Okay. This. Okay. Can I? May I? Yes, please. Okay. How to express wishes in English? We use wish to express that we regret something or we would like something to be different than the way it is. Very good, guys. So what do we use I wish for? For wishes. Okay. Wish. Yeah. That is the simplest answer. For wishes. For wishes. Right? Um wishes that and not only for that guys okay I'm, I'm not talking about about i wish i had a motorcycle right but yeah for things that you don't have right now right things that you would like to change so obviously we can use it with multiple tenses but here guys you can never use it guys with a first conditional they can only be used with past simple okay okay so, and, and not a conditional, I guess, because we're not going to use safe, right? <clears throat> Talking about um, you can't use it with simple present. That's what I meant, right? So you can use it, guys, with past simple. You can use it with past continuous. With what else? Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. You can use it with plus would. To infinity. You can use it to in plus two in an infinitive, right? Okay. But I want you to take a look at the structure, which is which seems kind of weird, right? Because it feels mm -hmm. like we're talking in the past, but we're not talking in the past. So basically, it's wish, guys, plus simple past, and write this down in your notebook, will be used when we want a situation in the present or future to be different, okay? Even though, guys, the structure is in the past, we want that situation to be different in the present or the future. Why? Because we use past tenses, guys, to talk about on real future, remember? Like second conditional, right? So you can say, I wish I ate more vegetables. Why am I saying I wish I ate more vegetables? Because in reality, guys, if, if somebody yeah. says something like that, do they eat enough vegetables or not? No. No. The answer is no, no right? Mm -hmm. So the reason we're saying that is because the real situation, the actual situation, their actual situation is that they don't eat enough vegetables, right? So the reality is different than what they wish, okay? <laughs> so it would be a mistake as if we said, I wish I didn't eat more vegetables, right? That doesn't make sense, all right? You can say, or let's take more. Let's take a look at more examples with simple past, right? We can say, so let's talk here about about I wish, right? So we can say, I wish plus simple past, right? Plus simple past, okay? And then you can say here, right? I wish I had a motorcycle. Okay. Now notice we're combining the two, the two things, right? We have I wish plus simple past. And this guys is used to talk about the past, right? Am I right? Yes. yes. No, yes. guys. I'm, ah, not no, right. I'm sorry. I wish I had no. a motorcycle. Ah, we're talking about the future, all right? Even mm -hmm. though, guys, this is a tennis in the past, we're talking about the future, okay? 
I don't want you to get confused there, but yeah, it's talking about the future, okay? Guys, put it like this, okay? In English, we don't have, there. there is this thing, guys, in Spanish, which is, I don't know, I forgot the name, guys, in Spanish, in grammar for Spanish. Okay, so, uh, but basically, el ia, right? Desearía, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist in English. So what, what they use in English is simple past. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> All right. So that's that's the reason why. Okay. I wish I had a motorcycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's like that's like saying desearía tener una motocicleta. Got it? Same thing, right? So that that's because that doesn't exist in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. That what they use is simple, simple past. All right. And that's why, guys. Okay. We can also, guys, use simple past continuous, okay? You can say, you can say, she wishes, right? She wishes, and this is going to change in third person. She wishes, you know, it weren't raining. So that means, is it raining, yes or no? No. It is. No. Yes, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, it is raining, right? She wishes. It weren't raining because it is raining, right? It is so, raining. She wishes the reality to change. And now, and take a look at the tense. What tense is this? This is past continuous, right? Yes. All right, very good. Uh, they wish they are here. All right. Is this correct? Yes or no? Can I say this? No. Yeah. They wish they are here. They were here? They were here. Okay. They were, exactly. You they can were. never, guys, never use wish plus simple present, okay? Okay, they wish they were, they were, sorry. They, they were. They right? were here. We're here, okay? Very good, guys. Very good, okay? All right. Um, so we can use it, guys, with, uh, with would to, you know? You can say, I wish the lesson would end soon, right? But we're not going to talk about this, okay? Because that's too many topics at once. Just know that you can use it with, with many things, okay? I want you to focus on two right now guys okay and that's gonna be that's gonna be simple past and past continuous okay so do me a favor guys real quick because we only have like three minutes and i have another class okay real quick guys uh quickly write down two examples in your novel okay just two two and i'm gonna okay. i'm gonna ask for your participation I wish I slept more. <laughs> I wish I slept more. Very good. I wish I slept more. Very good. Good job. Okay. Anybody else? I wish I were younger. I wish, right? I wish I were younger. Yes. Very good. I wish um, I rest more. I wish. I rest more. I rested more. I rested, yes. I yes, rested. Okay. Uh, very good. Does anybody want to give me one with past continuous? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I was speaking English very fluently. Very good. I wish they were speaking English very fluently. Very good. Very good. All right. Anybody else? All right. I'm going to leave it, guys, as homework. Okay. Yes. Um, so, so I'm going to ask you guys tomorrow, you know, first, first, uh, 
once we begin the class, because I'm going to ask you about your examples. Okay, just finish the two examples that I'm asking that, that I asked. Okay, because I have another class right now, guys. But um, okay. all right. But just practice that. That topic is really not 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 difficult. Okay, we are going to talk about a more complicated topic tomorrow, which is which is going to be really 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 interesting. Okay. All right, so guys. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you guys.